Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn some math. Today is our lesson number 28. Today we're going to evaluate. Today we're going to evaluate some algebraic expressions. Here's the problem. We are being told. We are being told that a equals to 2, b equals to 5, c equals to c, x is 1, y equals to 3, and z happens to be a big fat 0. Based on these values of the variables, the question is, what are the values of the following expressions? Here's number 1. You should do it. You should do them, you should do them with me. 9xy, 4b squared, 3x squared, 7xy, Let's do these four first. 9 times x times y. 9 times 9 times x times y. x is 1 times y. y is 3. Turns out that 9xy should equal 27. 4b squared. 4 times b squared. b is 5. b is 5. So it's 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. 25 times 4 is 100. 25 times 4 is 100. 7xy, just give me one second here, I'm getting paranoid, I feel that we have done this before. No, we have not done this before. 3x, 3x, 3x squared, x squared is going to be 1 squared, 3 times 1 squared is just going to be 3, and 7xy, 7 times x x is 1 times y, y is 3, it's going to be 21. Let's do, let's do a few more. <coughs> let's do a few more. C raised to a, b raised to a, y raised to a, and x raised to a. C raised to A, C is 4, 4 raised to A which is 2, 4 squared is going to be 16, B raised to A, B is 5, raised to A again is 2, 5 squared is going to be 25, and Y, Y is 3, and 3 squared is going to be 9, those were straightforward, X is how much, X is 1, 1 raised to, it doesn't matter what it is, it makes no difference what that is, 1 raised to any exponent, as long as it's positive whole exponent, it's going to be just 1. Well, it doesn't have to be positive exponents, does it? Could be anything. 1 raised to any number is 1. So those are the next four. Let's, do, let's keep on going. A times B times C times Z. 7 times D times X times Z and y squared times z squared. What do you notice? What we notice is that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what a times b times c is z appears in this expression and z we know is 0. Any amount any amount times 0 is just going to be 0. It doesn't matter what a times b times c is. We don't have to waste our time figuring it out. Again, same thing here. It makes no difference what 7 times b times x is. 7 times b times x times 0 is going to be 0. It doesn't matter what y squared is, z squared, z is 0, so it's just 0. It's just y squared times 0, which is going to be 0. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Then we have 6x squared over 2. 6 times x squared, x is 1, so it's just 1 squared over 2, divide top and bottom by 2, 6 becomes 3, and it's just 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. Then we have a times b over 10, a times b over 10, a is 2, b is 5 over 10, so it's just 10 over 10, which is just going to be 1, which is just going to be 1. Let's keep on going. How about 4a raised to 2? Uh, 4a over 2 is what I meant. 4 times a, which is 1 over 2, is just going to be 2. 
a, b, c over 4. a, b, c over 4. a is 2, b is 5, c is 4, over 4. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time multiplying the top out completely 2 times 5 times 4. That's not what you do. We see top, 4, four on the top, we see 4 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. The 4's drop out and the answer is 10. The answer is 10. Let's keep on going. How about c times y over 2? c times y over 2. c is 4 times y which is 3 over 2. Again, do not waste your time multiplying it out. Don't do, don't do 4 times 3, 12 over 2. That's not what we're looking for. If we can reduce it right away, reduce it. 4 and a 2, we can divide top and bottom by 2. If we divide top and bottom by 2, the 2 drops out and 4 becomes 2. Now when we say 2 drops out, what we mean is that 2 becomes 1, but we don't have to write that 1, because everybody knows that if you don't write anything, it's a 1 at the bottom. So answer is 6. The answer is 6. Let's keep on going. How about b times c over x? b times c over x, b, which is 5, times c, which is 4, over x, which is just 1. So that's just going to be 20. How about a squared, b squared, over... 2. a squared b squared over 2. a squared is 2 which I'm going to write as 2 times 2. b squared is going to be 5 times 5 over 2. Again we see 2 at the bottom, we see 2 at the top, let's divide top and bottom by 2 so we can knock out 1 0 and it's gone. We find 25 times 2 which is 50. 25 times 2 is going to give us 50. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.